Hi, beloved. It's me, Robin, intuitive healer and light sparkler at robinhallett.com. I'm checking in to share a little love and a message of healing and inspiration and peace with you today. May it serve you in the highest and best possible way of your journey at this time. What I know for sure is when we're clinging so tightly to a problem, to something that's upsetting us and worrying us and is really under our skin, it's disturbing our sleep, it's, it's bothering our peace of mind, we don't feel good in our heart, there's no spaciousness for anything else to enter. Whatever your story is right now, just think about it for a moment. Let's see if we can't give you a little spaciousness, a little room to breathe. Always the practice for me, if you were to come and talk to me, I would say the practice is for us to loosen our grip a little bit on the thing that's gotten us so stressed out. So, you know, and we do get stressed. I get stressed. I wake up some mornings and the first thing on my mind is not a peaceful thought. We can be very stressed. The blessing of stress in the body is it gives a very strong signal. It gives a very strong signal in the body. It's tight, it's not, you know, something's not right, something's not easy, something's not peaceful. So we can use that to sort of drop out. So you could just release your hands a little bit, you know, in that way. Um, when the story is going and you're feeling that pressure to drop out of that for a moment, whatever it is, um, drop out of it and just take a few breaths. <sighs> like that <sighs> like that another one <sighs> good this works for all kinds of situations big and small we've got to find a way and this is the way to let go a little bit more of what's got us in its hooks it might seem counterintuitive to want to let go of something that's really seems like you have to figure it out and solve it but it's really the answer possibility and spaciousness are together so when you're clinging so tightly to a problem it's like you're only focused on that and there's no spaciousness for any miracles to enter they could be coming they could be happening just like shooting stars you know they're going all the time but if you're so focused, if you're so down, you're not even looking, you're not even expecting it, how's it going to happen? The thing that makes it so amazing when you look up in the night sky and you see the moon and the stars is all the spaciousness around it. There's so much open room and space and anything could happen. So today, whatever the issue is, whatever the stress is, whatever the worry is, let's bring our breath to it. Let's take another breath. Let's soften the body a little bit more. Find a place of stillness inside. Perhaps make a powering, a powering statement, <laughs> me and my words, perhaps make an empowering statement. All is well. Love is always here. Now is always new. And you know, you can always ask your guides and angels for love and assistance. Please help me with this. Please take this from me. Take this heavy load. I give it up. I'm willing. I give it up freely. So deep, deep peace. Deep, deep ease. No, you might not know what to do. But the first thing is breathe and let it go a little bit. Think about the beautiful night sky and all the velvet void. Instead of saying the blackness, the darkness, let's call it the velvet void. 
the space where inspiration is born, the space where stars blast into, into being or blast out of being, you know, let's stay with that, that analogy and trust in that place. You know, you are so much more than any noun could describe any adjective. You're, you, you know, you're so much more. You're so much more. Your spirit living through this body in this lifetime. Remember that today. That's all enlightenment really ever is, by the way. It's just that you remember that you are spirit. And, you know, I'll just say for the poo-poo party that's always here a little bit, if you don't want to practice and you don't want to believe, you're going to keep getting what you always got. So what have you got to lose? You know, I'm not asking you to be weird. I'm not asking you to do things that are odd. I'm just asking you to remember where you come from and choose to allow that to be here, you know, more than the upset you continue to churn with. That's all, okay? So it's me, Robin. So much love I send to you from my heart to yours. You're amazing. Spark of the divine. Okay? And anytime I can help you out, my website, robinhallett.com. Get in touch there. Okay, and make sure, you know, if you want to subscribe to these, you'll get an update. Lots of love. It's Robin. Bye-bye. <laughs>